how to integrate your emails with monday.com hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great in this video i will show you step by step what you need to do exactly in order to integrate your emails it could be outlook or gmail it i don't think for the time being you can actually connect any other uh, email provider but for the time being you can just connect gmail or outlook and i will show you exactly how to do so it is going to be very simple and straightforward and we can just go ahead and start using it in our monday.com instead of you know going to emails for them so without further ado we can just go ahead and jump into the tutorial so open up your monday.com account generally speaking open up and then you would want to go to any board that you have just so you see uh this button right here which says integrate uh if you're like on the home page and stuff it's not really going to show for you but you will need to just visit any board that you have uh, once you are in this board or any other board really you can just go ahead and click on integrate on the top of your screen and this is just going to show us all the apps that we can actually integrate with now off the bat you can actually go ahead and find gmail over here but we can also find outlook over here so we can just go ahead and search for uh email i think there is uh, on the left panel if not okay so we can just go email and we can actually see uh, we can uh, connect either gmail or outlook uh, and we can just go ahead and get started with it so i'm just going to start with gmail and then we can just move on to outlook so to get started with gmail just click on this icon right here and then you would want to go ahead and actually select any of them uh, those are basically going to tell you when the emails are going to be sent but this we can just work on later on but for the time being you actually need to connect it so we just click on any of them regardless of whether you want it or not so just click on add to board and then you would want to click on connect and then from here you would want to obviously log into the account that you want to use and have uh, connected with monday.com so just go ahead and sign in using it if you don't have it over here just click on use another account uh, and just sign in using it so i'm just going to be using this one for the time being and then i'm just going to click on allow and with that basically we have our monday.com integrated with our gmail account which is great and we are pretty much good to go with using it um in our monday.com so now this is going to be basically how you want to send out the email so every time period so whether it's going to be daily weekly monthly or whatever it may be the type of wor workflow that you actually want to go for let's so let's say we can just do weekly um just click on weekly let's say friday every week so every week on friday um we can just go ahead and set up a specific time so we can just go ahead uh to and make it 18 p.m and we can just go ahead and uh, add one so every one week uh, uh at 18 we can just go ahead and send this out so the other thing is if status is or is not you have these both things so whether it is or is not and you would want to set up the actual status for it uh you can just go ahead uh and select the value which is going to be either working on it stuck or done and if you're not really understanding what i'm trying to do here it's basically setting up a workflow for you we already did connect it but here is going to be basically creating a workflow for us so it's just going to make things automatic automatic for us so we can just do every week on friday if status is done send an email uh, which you can just go ahead and actually start uh, creating the email to someone which is going to be let's say uh, the uh, if you want it to be a specific team member or if you want it to be specific uh, people from the columns you can simply do so but I'm just going to go ahead and say let's say is going to be me but obviously you would want to select the person that is going to be um, related to that test so i don't really have anyone else except for me so i'm just going to send uh, it to myself and then send an email which you would want to obviously create an email for so um task uh is done uh test 
there you go and we can just go ahead and add to board uh, now you can obviously use other ones so if you want to click on add on automation uh, you will find plenty of templates to choose from instead of you know actually creating your very own so we can just go ahead and use any of those templates to use or we can just go ahead and uh, add our own custom automation just like we have done earlier but this is pretty much for gmail if you want to also connect um your outlook you can also do so if we just go here we can just find outlook again if you don't find it you can just simply click uh, on search search for outlook and you should find it there are two outlooks there's the outlook calendar and there's also the outlook email so make sure you just select this one and then again you would want to click on anything here uh so when status changes nope let's just select a different one for the time being and by the way we can always remove it from gmail or outlook if you don't like that specific thing so we can just use with this one when a column changes send an email to someone add to board just so we can connect and then later on we can just figure out to the automations and everything so just go ahead and connect it and then again it's just going to be you signing in with your outlook account so i'm just going to do this real quick and i will get back to you okay so i actually did not know this because i always use the gmail version but apparently for outlook you actually are required to use your work or school account uh, instead of your personal account so if you don't have that unfortunately you cannot use outlook for monday.com you would want to have a school or work account but it's just going to work exactly the same as gmail regardless so we can just go back um, and again it's just going to end up showing you after you connect it exactly the same way as gmail it's just going to show you the um, main integration that you can actually use uh, and then from there you can just simply create your own uh, automations as following you can just click on automate on the top right for example, remove the one that we have just created just so we can connect and add a new one uh, straight from scratch. Or we can just go ahead and actually um, select from a template. So we can just go to templates on the top left. And we can just go ahead and find whichever template we want to use. When an email is received, create an item in group, for example. When date arrives, notify someone. This could be for due dates and so on. Uh, and this is going to really work well and it's going to work for both outlook and gmail just you know again i'm just going to say this make sure you have your outlook um, school or work account in order to be able to access it with monday.com otherwise it's not going to work unfortunately so um, what else can we actually do if you have some sort of contacts uh, list so if we just go ahead and go to plus icon and we can just click uh, create a new board uh, name it contacts for example and let's just give it the name contacts here create board and we want to basically have a an entire board which is just going to show a lot of people here so for example I'm just going to end up changing this to the uh, person name so um, John Doe for example and let's say we also have a column for emails so we have a column for emails uh, we can just add this in and we can just add an email for john doe so we can just go ahead and add it over here and we would want to add it so john nope sorry john doe at john doe.com for example uh, and if you want to add this uh, text for display you can simply do so but we are just concern for the email and now if we actually have this we can just end up clicking on uh, that over here so we just open up the task and then click on the plus icon which is add view and we would want to explore more views uh, and then from here you should find the email view if you are using the CRM though I'm not sure I'm basically I'm looking for if I can find it easy email so no it's not this one uh, basically you will be needing to use the um, Monday CRM in order for it to work you should find whenever you actually open this up uh, the view for emails and stuff where you can basically go ahead and uh, write emails to specific people which is going to be a great way to do so um, uh, without leaving monday.com so you would want to go ahead and have monday CRM open up your view 
again just click click on the plus icon and just uh, explore explore more views and you should find the emails and this is pretty much how to integrate your gmail or outlook with monday.com so how to integrate your emails and how to go ahead and set up automations for them within monday.com so hopefully you found this video to be helpful uh, and i tried to cover as much as possible within this one video if i missed anything else then that's on me but hopefully this was a good tutorial for you to begin your work with your emails in monday.com with that being said i hope that you liked this video and thanks for watching